Yo, what's up, people? What's going on, man? Today, tonight, whatever time it is you're watching this video, we go look at the Mafex TDKR, The Dark Knight Rises. Usually, we don't really care about the box. I mean, I don't really care too much about the box, but there is some good artwork on the back side, on the inside of this box on the back that I wanted y'all to see, right? So that looks pretty good. So while we're at it, I'll just show you the side of the box the back yada 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 and the side other side so that's that that's the box we'll get that out of the way we'll get that out of the way and now for the main attraction the batman himself the batman look at this man so i want to get real close with bats today because um he's looking really good i like how in under his mask you can kind of see the ear right there that's a cool little added detail they did other side of course short ears and look at that facial expression that guy means serious business right this is one of my um as i was messing around with this guy and just playing around i discovered that this is one of the one of my favorite capes i like this is a nice cloth cloth wire cape and it is good i mean like it's like it's good good and when I say it's good, good, I mean, like, I can flap that bad boy out like that. Look, just straight flapped. Look at that. Flapped. It's not going anywhere. There is not wire going along the bottom of the cape. All the wire is right there on the sides. So both sides of the cape, that's what a wire is. OK, so it's just like real lightweight that when when you um, bend it upward, it just stays that way. And this is cool man real nice material right there man so the head looks like that underneath that's the peg they gave us that um that angled one i'm not really sure why they went with that i think for the the neck up motion like for some of that you know um, uh, i really don't know but that's what they did but anyway though so if you're wondering about his big old square chin and which way his head can turn because of it it's looking good left right up down full circle it's not going to go all the way around though without popping off the um peg so uh you know you're going to get about that much before it starts to come off the peg not really a deal breaker because you're not doing any exorcist exorcist pose anyway so it really doesn't matter if you move that fantastic amazing wonderful cape out of the way you will reveal the butterfly joint the butterfly my man got a big back he's been lifting heavy for years look at that big back he is ripped i like how they put like the stretch marks in his suit too my man is ripped big back boy anyway the butterfly joint is looking like that oh, we got some squeak that's that storm collectible squeak listen ah oh, yeah some squeak in there uh the arms got a cut right there you can i mean you can see everything he's doing he does have a double jointed on the elbow bow the elbows are double jointed but because he's so bulky he's got these big old pythons because the gun show was here he's not going to get much room but anyway that that's that and uh look at this this one's kind of bent right here and i think it's done like that on purpose because my other one is also bent right there see that straight line and then bent so i think that's done like that on purpose at first i thought it was an issue but you know i think it's going to be all right so we're moving all kind of ways with that right there so that's that his waist let's take a look at the waist so going backwards ah, like that that's it let me show you this the side view of going backwards that's not much when you consider you know batman maybe looking up at his opponent or looking up at whoever he wants to look up at let's get that cape out of the way that's not really that much so and you get a gap right there too but whatever moving his body down to the forward motion i'll push this as far as i can oh look at that it went some more that's crazy so forward he looks like this right but you get a bigger gap in the back but you can really push it though you can really push it then it kind of like pops back in we got some more stretch marks across the the uh abs look at his obliques ripped been lifting for days this belt right here is floaty it feels floaty but like i think it's like maybe plugged into his back right there 
because like the float kind of stops right here so it could be plugged into his back somehow some way but in the front he floaty he's got like a hundred pockets for a hundred different gadgets not a hundred a hundred you understand there's a difference between a hunt 100 and 100 so he's got all kinds of things in here man band-aids first aid kits he's got an iphone an android everything so look at these legs my guys look at these legs Ooh, look at this look at the look at the rob van dam on him this is the look at the rob van dam splits that's pretty good to be so bulky and you know what if, if i can like tweak this a little bit you can even go further if you want to so of course a good rob van dam means some good sweet chin music he's kicking the bad guys all in their faces sis. look i think there's some drop down right there uh a tiny bit a drop down right there wouldn't rely too heavy on that more stretch marks on his quads right there and the hammies it's looking pretty good man the knees look good they go all the way back and the hammies are kind of flat right there so you can bring that all the way back like that looks good right yeah do while we at it let's play with the toes tickle, tickle, tickle. so ankles looking good left right front not much of a well there we go there it is right there it's swiveling this way but not that way because of this little piece right there so it's going that way but not that way i'll show you how it looks on the front so it's going in but not out because of that that um that boot thing they got going on right there if you care right so we got some toe hinge motion all the way up right so that's good so that's pretty much all of that articulation man this cape i love it i mean when you when you get them in the box this is how he looks when you get him in the box looks like a real bat like he's like covered up like that he doesn't come with this head i put that head on him he comes with a stale face i'll show you the stale face in a minute but he looks like this and it does it doesn't go past like that much where his chest is it doesn't really go past that much but that's it's all right though it's still cool and the back looks like that nice bat wrinkles <laughs> the bat wrinkles everything with batman begins with bat so nice bat wrinkles on the bat cape on the batman on this bat video all right so let me show you guys the accessories on big bulky big bulky batman big bulky batman so when you get your dark knight rises batman the tray will look like so you will get a stand stands are cool i like stands it's taped to the back of the tray by the way so you get a nice little stand i think pretty much all my effects come with a stand you will get some some strange fists now, i wasn't quite sure about these fists but because i thought they gave you like two sets of normal fists but they don't if i can get this out i can show you guys what i'm talking about come on out of there man this is all right cool so i got it so if you look closely there's a little slit right there yeah that's for a batarang a batarang fits in there perfectly other than that it looks like a regular fist and i was like oh okay two sets of fists that's weird but no little slit for a batarang all right so don't be alarmed you didn't get two sets of fists this right here this little the relaxed grip you can put batarangs in each one of his fingers right there for a batarang punch can you imagine getting hit in the chest with a batarang punch? Ugh, that'd hurt. It'd be real bloody too. And then he'd go, get out of here. Like, you just hit me in the chest. You want me to get out of here? I need the ambulance, bro. Call me an ambulance. He's got this hand right here. Um, the kind of the hold up hand. Batarangs fit in between those fingers. And of course we got the relaxed hands that's all that is you get a few battle rings behind tape two four six eight to be exact these things are very, very look, look at my fingertip you see that these things are tiny i almost well yeah i almost lost these bad boys a couple of times just messing around with this guy man because they're tiny they're teeny teeny tiny 
it's just I don't know. And this is the other head, the stale face. This is the one that this is the head that he comes with out of the package. Looks like that. All right, that looks good. I like it. A couple of small little paint errors, but yeah, I don't really care about that kind of stuff. Because when you photograph it, it looks good, right? That's just my personal opinion. Some people care about those small little paint errors at this price point, but me, it is not really a deal breaker. So, just like I did before, I'm going to quit talking, give you guys one last close up look at Batman. <laughs> 